What's up, guys? We has the scroller box. I has one, and I want to unbox it with you. So I know it's I have one, but <laughs> I was I was in the mood to say I has with a Z on top of it. So I'm super excited for a scroller box because. I was told it was pretty good. I really loved last month's box because it was it was chameleon. So I had so much fun with that, and you guys will get the art video pretty soon if it's not if I didn't already make it public. <laughs> so eh. okay, so I'm I'm excited because Scroller Box, if you guys don't know, is a monthly subscription box for art supplies, and they have a challenge that comes with it every month. It's kind of like Christmas every month if you are into art supplies, and it kind of challenges you at the same time. The only thing I'm hoping is that it's not graphite <laughs> or black and white stuff. Whoa! As long as there's a color. And look guys, I actually opened it properly this time. As long as there's colors, I'm happy. And if there's no colors, I'm gonna be really, really challenged. Okay. So, oh, I see colors. No, that's the, the candy. <laughs> so, all right, I'm gonna pull everything onto my desk. Put this side here. And we have the artist of the month, which I see color. That's always good news. That's always Good news. So the artist is, oh, Sydney Nelson. And here's all of Sydney's information. There's a YouTube channel and an Instagram. So check it out if you guys are interested. Okay, so before we get into this paper, I don't know what any of these materials are, so we're gonna have to open this. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh it's colorful. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, what is that? What is that? Okay. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. So, ooh, Shattered Self. That is an interesting theme for the challenge. And here is our list of material. We have a Kuretake Wink of Luna. What is that? So it's a brush pen for adding vibrant color and subtle metal effect to the artwork. Ooh, can't wait to try that. And then we have a Stedler Norris Color Pencil Set, 12, and it's anti-break. I wonder if it's a wax? I don't know. I don't know if it's a wax pencil set. So we're going to have to try this out. And we have an Artline Fine Liner. So I have a couple of these from past scroller boxes. So it's going to be interesting to try that out. Another Artline Medium Liner. I think this one is blue, so this one's black. Metallic Poster Marker. And someone's mowing their lawn. Dang, nab it. <laughs> so we're going to have to deal with that. Metallic poster marker. Vivid opaque water-based metallic pigment. Ooh, I love metallic pigments. And then we have a Kuretake post chalk dry wipe marker. What is that? Water-based pigment. Chalky lines appears gradually after drying. That is interesting and weird at the same time. So let's look at what we got. So we have the Kuretake set. They are hexagonal, which means that it's pretty good because they're not going to fall off the desk. Where do we open these? Hello? <laughs> okay, there we go. There we are. Oh, these are so pretty. These are made in such a nice way. Okay, see these? Oh, these are heavy. I did not expect them to be this heavy. I know you guys are gonna freak out and be like, why didn't you put them in the right order? I don't know. I don't, I don't want to put in the right order. <laughs> so we have these guys here. That is really pretty. These are really, really pretty colors. So we're gonna test them out later on together. And then we have the art line. This is a 0.6, which is pretty thick. Ooh, that is pretty thick. And then we have this one a 0.4, which is all right. I like to work with fine, fine liners. I don't know why. Why do I have, I have like black clay under my nails? <laughs> and then we have a post chalk. So this is the chalk marker, which looks super interesting, but I've never, I don't think I've ever tried that. It says dry wipe which means it should come off of your pieces. And we have candies, <laughs> fizzers. I wonder if they fizz. And we have the poster marker, which is this one. I remember these. These, I used to, it hasn't been used yet. So I, I did, I have to admit, I tried, I tried to put it to my nose to see if it, if it does anything. Don't worry guys, I don't, I don't sniff markers. <laughs> so we have, it's acid free. And it's supposed to be a metallic blue, I think. It doesn't say. So we're gonna test this out. And then we have this, which I'm super curious about. It almost looks like makeup. I think this is kind of like what makeup 
boxes kind of look like yeah why, why do they put this so difficult oh open it from here okay <laughs> i'm like why do they make my life so difficult oh okay <laughs> yep it's right there it looks like the only person making my life difficult is myself that's that's very philosophical right so we were in here don't worry i only tore this up because there's some instructions down here on how to use it so i'm gonna read it up and then come back to you guys and of course the scroller box sticker all right let's take out these babies oh wow they are really heavy and they really don't roll like as soon as i place them they just decided to stay there so that is a really cool but they are heavy they're much heavier that's i'm guessing that's good quality <laughs> i'm not going to do them in any particular order but let's try out a couple of colors just to have an idea on the pigments and how how vibrant is it because they said it's pretty vibrant so let's take oh that is that is pretty now my question is how well do they layer because it doesn't say what base they are so let's try let's try a little red right on top okay so they do layer very nicely very very nicely if you, I don't know if you guys can see but they do layer very nicely so that is a pretty good thing I like that so here we have the red Oh, these are really pretty. There's so much potential. And I think this is a light tan skin tone. Yeah, and they did include like a kind of like a caramel skin tone. I like that they've included that because usually they don't include this color. So my guess is that the reason we have this color is because there's no white. And usually colored pencils boxes or sets do have white in there so that's pretty interesting that they remove the white and, and I know I know er, er, <laughs> it kind of looks yellowish on screen but trust me it's more like a caramelly skin tone and the interesting thing about this is that there's no name for these colors all it says is made in Germany and that's what I like about scroller box but yeah there's no color name but I think if you have 12 it's not that tragic to have to know the color names but these are really really vibrant and I am pressing pretty hard and the tips really are not breaking so I don't know what kind of black magic <laughs> that is yeah just wanted to see the yellow okay so we can't really layer much on the black <laughs> I was like can we layer on the black but not so much so we have the darker green and then the lighter green and then we have a brown I think we have one brown but I guess this could be kind of like a lighter brown and you can layer, layer that stuff. Now we have the 0 0.06 felt tip. So it does feel like a marker. I don't know if I would, maybe. It's quite, it's quite thick. I don't know how I feel about doing an outline with something like this. Uh, this one is the 0.4. Traditionally the, yeah, I, I, would, I would be okay outlining with something like this but probably not with something this thick. Could work well, I guess, in a kind of background to make everything pop. And then we have this chalk. So let me just lay some black in here so we're not being very careful. I just want to see what the chalk looks like. So I don't know if I was supposed to shake it. I don't think I... Oh, no. Is it working? Did I ruin it? Their instruction <laughs> it is wet though oh look it's starting to appear that's what they were saying is that it does appear after some time so let's do some lines in there and see if they start appearing because this is what happened here you see it's getting darker by the second well not darker but it's showing up a lot more so we can see here this is real time so I'm not changing anything so we can see that they're starting it's starting to appear I don't know what does it come off no it mm, yeah it does come off now we have the metallic at least that's what they said so I think I have to squeeze squeeze it out I remember these from elementary school oh we're getting somewhere we're getting somewhere there we go Ooh, that is really pretty I really like that and the last one is this guy which I had to prep but I didn't so I'm supposed to do do this remove this ring twist it and I'm supposed to shake it until there's a click 
Oh, look at that! There's a blue here. Where is that supposed to be? Oh no, see, mine is coming out of the sides. Can you guys see that? I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be, but my guess is no. Do I have to wet this? I don't think I have to wet it. Let me double check the instructions. Alright, I think I got it working. There we go. So I just had to wait a little bit. But yeah, this is really pretty too. It would be nice, kind of like a, a starry night. But hey, let's let's try the chalk right on top of it just to see if it if it works. Let's try that. Okay, so it's making it wet. But you see, the colors come off on the chalk. So, it's made it darker. I'm gonna wait and see if it does anything else. So here are all the items I got from Scroller, Scroller Box. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I can't wait to see what I'm gonna come up with this. There's really no excuse to be short on colors because I have them all. Now the challenge is, will I use them all? I'm not sure if I will be able to, but that's gonna be one heck of a colorful drawing. Thank you so much for watching guys. Until then, I will see you in the next video.